So hi everybody and welcome back to our C++ tutorial series for Absolute Beginners. This video 296 and in this video we continue with our value categories and we already have started reading here and we jumped into the history section and we have read also this part here. And let's continue with C. It says here the C programming language follows a similar taxonomy which means they just take many things from CPL except that the role of assignment was no longer significant, which means in CPL we they have all time used this left of assignment and right uh, of assignment and called it just left and right. And now they don't use this here in C anymore. Or let's say they change this here. And let's see how they change this. C expressions are categorized between L value expressions and others. So that is the change. They say only we are interested in L value expressions and all other things we just call others like functions and non-object values. All right, where L value means an expression that identifies an object, a locator value. And this identifies an object, What uh, this locator value, the, um, it's very important the word identify here because um, this identify becomes later a property, uh, but we will talk about this later. But right now, what they mean here is just we have an L value, and uh, with this L value, we have to identify an object. What they, well, let's make here an example. We have here an example, it says here I declare an C value, is my C object later. And now this C here, I want identify. How can I identify this? There are many ways. One way is just say, hey, take the memory address and that will be unique because the memory address will store only one thing in it. And uh, this is a very good uh, property to identify this object here. And yes, in this case, they take indeed the memory address and again very important when I say memory address is the memory address which this um, programmer can access uh, because you can see in my second uh, example I can take the memory address reference it or in this case assign it to a pointer and with this pointer I can later change this memory address so I can access it so when you read here identify is a locator value and locator comes from location of the value. The location of the value means the memory address of the value. We can, and uh, very important, we can access it at a program. So uh, for example, the zero here, I can't access it. I can't print it. Of course the compiler know where the zero is internally, but that counts not. <laughs> That's it. Let's, uh, let's continue a little bit. And uh, let's go here to C++ 98. Let's see how C++ is using that. You can see we are going indeed to C++ now before it was just C or even CPL. They were the programming language which uh, introduced and changed it a little bit. And now C++ is doing what? Pre-2011. So this belongs to the code again for before 2011. Why is this important? Again, this is all the screen lines here and if you are at once and uh, dealing with all the code you have to remember they behave differently than what we have today and you can cause problems when you don't know that uh, or take not in account right so let's read this here it says here pre uh, 2011 c++ followed the c model which means again they just took all that what they have more or less but restored the name r value which means Instead of using the word others here with function and non-object values, they use R values again uh, to non-L value expressions. So you can see in C++11 we have L values and R values again. Careful, this R values is not the, uh, the R value which we have today. Today we have two kind of R values. One is called PR, uh, PR value and the other one is called just R value. Where is it? Uh, P here, R value. All right, careful, it is not this one here. Uh, this R value, what they are talking is actually this one here, the pure R values. All right, and then let's go there and read a little bit more. It says then here, uh, 
made here let's continue from here made functions into l values okay so um they made functions in l -value. what means that here you can see in c they had the functions in the section of others right in the category of others and they are changing this now we have functions l2 in the category of l values and added the rule that reference can bind to l values so again that was in c was it not so that you could not bind now you can bind a reference to l values but only reference to const can be bind to r values that will be later interesting when we know what actually an r value uh, when we talk about binding r values and so on but remember now here just they changed here many things and here several non l uh, value c, uh, c expression became l value expressions in c plus plus but the question is here now why we are learning this one here because we have never de dealt with c c perhaps yeah that's true but important here is if you again use a code before 2011 keep in mind they treated it like this and if you are learning more programming languages for example c or you already know this keep this in mind older c was treated also differently and all this kind of stuff you have to keep in mind when you are an advanced people of course we are beginners right now not so important we are happy when we understand what value categories just means in general so with that said i would make here a uh, break again because the next part will be very important and um, if you have any questions write in the comment sections like all the time and uh, see you in the next video have fun and like all the time never give up and bye